The Fed's myopia leads to overreacting. The Fed is trying to engineer a soft landing of the economy while simultaneously capping inflation. Will they succeed? The Fed has a history of myopia. They can barely read today's headlines and then they overreact to what they read. Seeing the future clearly? Not a chance. Instead, here is what will happen. Number one, the Fed will raise interest rates too slowly in 2022, so inflation will rise throughout the year. Number two, the Fed will panic and overreact in 2023, thus crushing the economy and the stock market. Number three, but the Fed's crushing of the economy will cause inflation to start to decline. That leads to four, the Fed will have created a new financial crisis worse than 2008. Now, this is a pretty dramatic prediction, but my motto is mm, often wrong, but never in doubt. Just joking. Here's what the problem is. The Fed has an atrocious record of prediction. They've destroyed 97% of the wealthy of the American public through their overly expansionary monetary policy since they were founded in 1913. But hey, let's forget about that. In fact, let's just go all the way back to... 2020, the economy was getting too hot for the Fed. So they started, so they decided to start raising interest rates and reducing liquidity in 2017. And they really started tightening in 2018. The tightening finally got to such an extreme level that I issued my famous financial crisis 2020 report in March of 2019. In it, I predicted a bear market in stocks and a recession in the economy in March of 2020. Perfecto. Oh, you think COVID caused the recession? Well, yes and no. The economy and stock market were going to drop anyway, but COVID accelerated the problem. But let's not forget, it was federal and state governments that decided to crush the economy through lockdowns. The people, you and me, we didn't want the lockdowns. Then the economy and the stock market collapsed. So the Fed dropped interest rates to zero and stood on street corners handing out $100 bills. That helped the economy recover from their previous overreaction to the economic strength. But of course, the easing was an overreaction to the economic weakness. They kept swinging from one extreme to the other. And the record-setting easing of 2020 is the cause of the current bout of inflation. Duh! My contention is that they will now overreact and tighten too much. So here is what will happen short term. The Fed has basically done nothing about inflation so far. Their piddling little raise has been too little too late. The chart that I'm showing you right here shows what the Fed fund futures market thinks is going to happen. They are totally convinced that the Fed will tighten by 50 basis points and possibly even 75 basis points. These are not the actions of a prudent banker, but of a person who doesn't really know what's happening and is panicking. They are overreacting and slamming on the brakes. Now, it hasn't happened yet, but the market has a good track record of predicting Fed moves. But here's the point. The chart shows that the market expects a very sharp rise in Fed funds. I believe that the level of Fed funds is less important than the change or the momentum of Fed funds. And the chart suggests that the change in momentum is dramatic and will crush the economy. Now, that's not good for our fellow citizens, but that doesn't mean that you and me, we can't make some money from it. We can create investment strategies that capitalize on the Fed's mistake. So, of course, I always recommend that you subscribe to my weekly video newsletter. That's down there in the description below. And I'll show you exactly what trades I'm putting on in my account. We'll talk to you later.